Hey, hey, hey fans, welcome back to the channel for your latest dose of royal news. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had trauma etched on faces after Meg's bust-up. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are approaching their 12-month review with senior royals of their life after voluntarily leaving the firm's front line last March. Reports suggest that Harry may ask to delay it and extend their so-called transition period until he can discuss the deal with his family in person in the UK. Their first announcement, their decision to step down in the search for financial independence a year ago, and this move triggered an unsurprising upset behind palace walls. A few months after the tense Sandringham summit, where the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William discussed with Harry which royal privileges he and his wife would lose, the Sussexes moved to California, US and have not been back to the UK since. However, while this outcome seemed to provide privacy control over their public and enabled Meghan to be closer to her mother, the couple reportedly found it immensely difficult to cope behind the scenes. Royal biographer Andrew Morton explained, you could see the trauma etched on their faces. They were barely on speaking terms with William and Charles. If Harry had a real regret, it was how he handled the announcement of stepping back. He pushed the Queen and his father into a corner and it made the whole thing far more dramatic. Meghan and Harry announced their shocking decision just days after returning from an extended break in Canada where they spent Thanksgiving, Christmas and the New Year. They reportedly gave the senior royals just minutes of notice before publishing their groundbreaking announcement on their social media platforms. The palace, although aghast, responded quickly and made it clear that many details of their exit were still to be finalised. The Sussexes ended up walking away from the firm with complete independence, as they no longer represented the Queen, but were prevented from using the prefix Royal or HRH in any of their work after their departure. Their unprecedented exit has become known as Megxit in the months since. Harry was stripped of his honorary military appointments too, and is thought to have been snubbed from being represented as the only major royal gathering this year. Remember, Sunday was former military royals lay wreaths at the center path. Attendance at major events and his military titles are two areas which some suspect Harry may try to negotiate with the palace on during the Megxit review. Still, with their newfound freedom, the couple have certainly been busy. They just launched their official new enterprise, Archwell, which now has its own website and three separate branches, its charitable foundation, its Netflix productions, and its Spotify podcast series called Archwell Audio. The Sussex have made it clear their focus is on compassion in action, although many royal fans have been left scratching their heads as to what that may entail. They have also signed up to a high-profile speaking agency and have appeared on many virtual platforms over the past few months to discuss their passion projects. Meghan and Harry received a wave of criticism for, their, for encouraging US voters to register before the presidential election in November, as it seemed to compromise the neutrality required of royals. Yet, a palace spokesperson reminded the public that they are now private individuals and separate from the royal machine. It remains to be seen how much of the Sussex's current arrangement will be altered in the review with the other royals. They have also been accused of commercializing the crown through their jaw-dropping deals with both Netflix and Spotify, and some royal fans have called for them to be stripped of their Sussex dukedoms. Alright, there you have it guys, update for you on the Sussex squad, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the latest updates and with new videos daily, I'll catch you tomorrow with the latest royal news. That's all from me and goodbye for now.